Hi again, this is Ma'am Jane and I welcome you to our Empowerment Technology subject and for our video today, this is made especially for you, my senior high school students because today, I'm going to teach you how to use one of the features of the Microsoft Office Word and that is the Mail Merge. So before anything else, I want you to know kung saan ba natin ginagamit yung Mail Merge. Most of the time, we often use Mail Merge when we send out invitation letters, um, emails to a lot of people. So, most of the time, yung nagamit natin ang mail merge sa paggawa ng mga invitation at especially kapag marami tayong pagsisendan ng letter or invitation. So, here is the sample invitation letter na naka-mail merge na siya. So, as you can see here on the upper part, on the upper left of your screen, so, ayan siya. So, tingnan nyo kung paano magbabago ang mail merge. Okay? So, ayan. Most of the time kasi kapag gumagawa tayo ng invitation, what we usually what we usually do is we copy paste everything or we create another document and then we print it out. Ganun din sa invitation or tawag dito sa label ng invitation, yung invitation card, business card, okay? What we do is in edit natin ito and then print tayo ng paisa-isa. But, uh, what we can do, okay, mail merge allows us to do it much easier and faster. So, it allows us to type the recipient's list ng isang beses, isang type na yon, and then isang beses, i-print na yung lahat. Okay? So, papakita ko sa inyo how to do it. Huwag na tayo magpatagal. Let us create another document. And then, like, let us copy the sample invitation letter. So, pakita ko sa inyo kung paano siya gawin. Okay? This is our document. We go to mailings and then we select recipients. So, may mga choices dyan. Type a new list. Use an existing list. Choose from out the contacts. So, let's go to type a new list. So, as you can see, this is where you will type a recipient information and this is the table. So, you can add more entries if you like. So, it will be depending to you kung you will supply all the information. It will still depending upon what invitation or what kind of business letter you are going to make. Okay? But since this is just a tutorial, so wag natin gawing komplikado ang lahat, let's just supply the title, the first name, the last name, and the address. Okay? Mr. John Marie. Carpio. And then, Merilau Bulacan. If you would like to add another entry, just click New Entry. And then, Mr. Kotong. <laughs> Mariano. Kung ano-ano na lang ilagay natin. Um, ilang Baguio City. Another entry ni Sis Kath um, Gonzales Tondomila New entry, Ms. Carol Mendoza, Vina uh, Monan, Isal. So let's have two, four, five. So let's add another entry, Mr. Joseph Olaes. And then let's um. And so on, so on, so on, one day. Cavite. <laughs> okay. Um, tama na siguro itong six entries. Once you are done typing all the information of your recipients, 100 recipients, click natin yung okay and then save it sa mas madali siyang makikita. Um, information list. Okay. 
So, automatic na siya na na magpupunta siya dyan. Okay? Kung hindi siya mag-automatic, ganito yung gagawin nyo, guys. Ito yung address block. Okay? And then, you may choose any of the following kung ano yung gusto nyo mag-appear doon sa inyong invitation. Ito yung i-click natin, Mr. Joshua Randolfer. Um, Mr. and then yung full name. Dito nyo makikita here is a preview from your recipients list. So, makikita nyo siya. Ayan. Okay? Since wala naman tayong nilagay na company name, huwag na natin siyang i-check. And then, okay. For the greeting line, we have also here, katabi ng address block yung greeting line. And then, ayan. You may choose dear to and then choose which one would you like to appear on your invitation or business letters or etc. Okay? And then, there you go. Here is the preview from your recipient list. If you want to use to or dear, so ayan siya. Magbabago na siya, and then okay. And, ayan. See, the information details change, but the message um, does not. Hindi nagbabago. Okay? So, para naman po saan itong insert merge field. So, you will be specified kung ano yung gusto ninyo. Paisa-isa. Miss. Ang title. Okay. If you want last name. And then address. Okay. So, yan na siya. So, once you are done working with your mail merge, you may click finish and merge. So, you may choose any of the following edit info me individual documents being documents. Once you click print documents, it's either you want to print all of those or from the current record or you may choose from which recipient you want to print it first. Pero since naman, di ba, um, isa lang yung gagawin nating invitation and isang send lang tayo, pwede natin i-click yung all and automatic na yan print lahat. Wala ka nang gagalawin kung 100 yan, 100 invitation or business letters ang magpiprint out. So, ganun lang kadali gamitin ang mail merge. I hope that you find this video very helpful and pakishare na din po, pakilike na rin and see you on our next lesson. Bye.